guess from today's outfit of the day it is a snuggly day today working from home I'm actually about to go for a massage hallelujah I haven't had one in a long long time but the lovely Sally I'll leave her Instagram link down below she has this amazing shepherd's hut in the grounds of the um, kind of golf course hotel near where we live and she does the most amazing massages, very affordable in my opinion. And she uses the loveliest essential oils. It's just exactly what you need to switch off. So I've treated myself to one this morning. Um, I actually need to leave about now. It's only a two minute drive from the house, um, but I'm wearing my snuggliest outfit for the massage or to get myself to the massage. Obviously it'll all be removed once I get there. So I've got on my lovely little alpine leggings um, my moon boots, cashmere socks, and a big oversized jumper. I'm makeup free, which is why I'm not getting it too close to the camera. But yeah, looking forward to a lovely little treat. I have to say, I feel very, very fortunate that we have so much, so many of life's little luxuries on our doorstep, <laughs> even though we do live in the middle of nowhere. Well, I guess the Cotswolds isn't really the middle of nowhere. We do live in a rural setting, um, but we, yeah, we do have a lot of little luxuries very close by, such as the lovely Felden Valley and the fact that Sally's there doing the massages. So as the second lockdown is over, we now have loads and loads of activity going on at the house. Obviously, we're always being super duper safe. Um, social distancing, masks, PPE, etc, etc, but we have got lots going on in the house. I'm going to be able to give you guys a coach house update really, really soon. I know you've been asking for a coach house update, but I kind of wanted this final thing to be done, um, and it it's going to be done in the next week, so you will be getting a massive coach house update during Vlogmas. We're basically having the bathroom done, and then after that, it is, I think it's done for now. <laughs> So we're getting the bathroom done in the coach house right now. Um, we are getting some pipes put in, long story, in one of the carports. We're having the gym roof put in, in the main carport. I uh, can't remember, is it this way or the next turning? No, the next one. Um, so they are putting in the cladded roof at the moment. I'll show you all of this in action when we get back home, but the roof cladding is going to look amazing. So the carport is currently covered in scaffolding. Uh, what else is going on? Obviously my powder room, which I updated you on a couple of days ago. That is nearly finished plastering, so I really need to spend a little bit of time this afternoon deciding how I want to do, whether I want to do like a panelling shelf or whether I want to do some kind of <laughs> school children doing a little road safety test on their bikes. How cute is that? Yeah, I basically have to decide how I want to hide the pipes in there, whether I want to do panelling or whether I want to do something a little bit um, more unusual. We shall see. And then the wallpaper, and oh my goodness, we bought the most amazing antique French marble wash stand in London yesterday. So I'll show you that. Um, it's not delivered yet, but it'll be delivered next week. As you can probably see from around me, it did not snow last night, or maybe it did, but it's all gone, which is such a shame, because I was so hoping to wake up this morning to a winter wonderland, um, but I guess I'll just have to wait. I really hope we do get some snow. And another thing that I mentioned at the very end of yesterday's vlog, I'm not sure how many of you watched to the end, but I did say I'm gonna try and make the vlogs a bit shorter. Firstly, because I don't know, I mean, I'm expecting a lot of time from you guys, and I don't think, that's fair. Um, I know that loads of you love to watch the whole vlog, but there are so many vlogmases out at the moment and I'm struggling to keep up with them all. So I know that everyone must be feeling the same. So I'm gonna try and make them around the 30 minute mark maximum because I know that they've been approaching an hour lately. I'm saying I'm gonna cut them down while rambling to you while driving in the car. Probably not the best start. Um, and we've missed a couple of giveaway days because I was confirming some details. So the giveaways are back today and the final noticement um, 
we're here already. That is how quick the journey is. The whole time I've been talking to you, I've not even cut this clip, has been the journey. I'm already here. Amazing. And I'm five minutes early. Great. Yes, we are here. Um, and there was one more noticement. Oh yeah, finding Fenella. Um, the last couple of ones have been really, really hard. I have to say, I felt quite mean when I was editing, so I was like, oh my goodness, I don't think anyone is gonna find Fenella. So, um, the note that I wanted to say is that if you see Fenella in the intro clips, I'm afraid that doesn't count because I'm gonna be reusing loads of the same footage from the intro. So I'm really sorry about Fenella. If you spot Fenella within the intro of Vlogmas, AKA within the first 30 seconds of the video, I'm afraid it doesn't count. And as a reminder, if you're wondering what on earth I'm on about, um, in order to enter my giveaways, which I'm doing, it's basically me prompting you to help me reach my goal of 500,000 subscribers by sharing my channel, my videos with your friends, whether that's um, tagging people in my Instagram pictures or emailing your friends, I don't know, whatever you want to do, sharing my channel with your friends and your followers to hopefully help me reach the goal of 500,000 subscribers. Um, and you've also got to find Fenella. <laughs> so Fenella is the pheasant. We love Fenella. So keep a lookout for her if you'd like to enter. Anyway, okay, I've been rambling for five minutes. Time to go. <laughs> okay, so this is inside Sally's very cozy hut where we are about to have a lovely massage. It smells so lovely and festive in here. She's got a festive oil burning. Mm -mm -mm. It is so gorgeous. Very, very peaceful. Just got back from my massage, feeling very, very cozy and very relaxed after a lovely massage with Sally. Oh, oh yes, we love kisses. We really missed you, oh, mommy. Oh, oh dear. Charlie has okay. had a new purchase arrive. Oh, he's off. <laughs> okay, would you like to show us your new purchase, darling? Who would have thought, a couple of years ago, <laughs> I'd be getting excited by lampshades, but this is an absolute beaut, inspired by down to Abbey. <laughs> it's because we've got our own little mini, mini version of theirs. Now, the original idea, yes, the original idea was this. This was going to go in the new, soon-to-be loft bedroom. When's the bed attic, arriving? Attic bedroom. No, loft bedroom. Loft bedroom. Uh, the bed is arriving next week. I think this would look fantastic in there, but mm -hmm. it was quite expensive. And I do actually think it's a shame because that room is our third guest room, so you won't, it won't be seen as much. Mm. That would look great up there with the free lamp that we got. Yeah. The one we picked up. And then I think this will go on here. We so, could do. My only concern is that it's going to be a few different shades of green, but should we try it? I think, uh, yeah, I think let's quickly try it. And while Charlie does some light bulb unscrewing, I'm going to open the next two days on my advent calendar because we were in London all day yesterday. So I'm going to open it. It kind of works well, actually, that these two are back to back. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But they're just clues now. They're not clues as to what it is. They're just clues to where it is. Because otherwise it gets a bit too confusing. Okay. Okay, so my clue as to where my gift is hidden today. As you enter the house, don't forget to turn all the lights on. Turn all the lights on. Yeah, it's a clue as to where it is, not as a clue to what it is. As you enter the house... Which way do we enter? This way? Don't forget to turn all the lights on. Cool, it's cold in here. Yeah. No, just really cold. Is it at the other entrance? Yeah. Come on, Dig Dig. Yeah. Dexy, you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? <laughs> I think it looks right in that corner, but yes, I think it may look better with a wooden stand. It's a wooden stand we, we need, so that's fine because it goes on the wooden lamp upstairs. We're not uh, going to change the lamp down here. Oh, okay. Because this lamp matches um, all the other lamps in here, but so they're going to be talking and all the. I, I, I actually think this looked great before. Sometimes this is the thing that you find with spending so much time at home is you can end up fiddling and changing things. Too much, can't you? That don't need filling with. Don't, we've got enough on 
we keep getting distracted, but I'm going to get the next clue upon Charlie's um, instruction so that we can find both gifts at the same time. I see you've used my mulberry writing paper. Perhaps. <laughs> you chopped it up. If Dickie had a bedroom, which would it be? Dickie's bedroom would be the pink bedroom because it's where mummy's most likely to be? Yes. Is that and, correct? And because I've got a pink tummy? Yes, because I've got a pink tummy. Okay, the first and, clue. And on top of that, yes. it's because I'm a little bit more in tune with my feminine side. Yes. Right, so the first clue. You always seem to be doing the bins whenever I, I vlog know, you. Weird, isn't it? No, it's just because it's really full. And do you know why? Because no one else does them. <laughs> Daddy is so funny. We should get him a comedy sketch with Michael McIntyre. So the first clue was where you come in to do the lights in the house. Right. Which is here. This is where you come and do the lights in the house. Yeah, I've got to do a bit of a funny. Yeah, but not necessarily going to be right there to think about it. When you come in the house, yes, <clears throat> this room is all dark. When you turn on the lights, what can you suddenly see that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise, maybe? Right. Um. <laughs> new sausage painting! Yes. We have a new painting of his lordship! Yeah, so this one deck deck! Not to go here, oh my god! <laughs> Oh my gosh, he looks like Henry VIII. Yeah. Look at his pose. Come with me, here's your treat. That is ridiculous. Okay, come with me. Thank you. <laughs> we need to find, um, perhaps someone can help with the <laughs> finding not crazy expensive. They don't have to be antique, but look like antique mirrors, like that. Um, frames. frames. Lydia's got some in her downstairs bathroom, but I don't know where she got them mm -hmm. from. So I thought this one should go straight up here, look. Genuinely. Yes! You know what I think? Lord of the house. These lights. I know some people will be like, oh, how nap. Well, I just think it's fun, isn't it? Like, it's our house. We can do what we want we with it. If we yeah. want a framed painting of our sausage dog in yeah. um, Tudor attire, then that's See, what that we'll do. See, that reason obviously gives as much for both of us, but I thought you'd like it. So. That is just incredible. Look at him. He's such a blooming. How handsome is he in that? He's so handsy, handsy. Is there oh, one of Dickie upstairs? I don't know. No. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Dig dig, dig dig, both the bit, black black. Oh, my little boy! Oh, I like Dickie's outfit better. It's a lady's outfit. <laughs> yes, he's got the ruffles. Oh, he's got a, such a handsome outfit. I like how they even captured his tuft. tuft. Yeah. Look, my little boy always has a little tuft up here. Oh my gosh, that is excellent. Where's that going then? Well, in the drawing room on the other one. On the other spot. <laughs> okay, let's go and see. Yay, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just bonkers. It's got to be done. So Master Dicky will live here and then we'll have one doggy either side of the drawing room. Totally ridiculous and absolutely fabulous. Because I don't know, I think that one looks better than that here. Well, to be honest, Dexter is the master of the house, so yeah. he needs prime position. Look at them next to each other, look at them next to each other. Goodness me. Dickie actually looks a bit um, smarter there. Yeah, but Dexter's sort of pulling his blue steel look. Dickens yeah. is more like, because he's got a ruffly neck, he's more like... Dickie's like Tom Branson in Downton. He's mm. come from nothing. But and... that is a female outfit. <laughs> so Dexter's in like the male one. That is the female. <laughs> Dexter is his lordship. Dickie is <clears throat> Branson. Lady Downton. <laughs> Lady Downton. Oh, my little boys. Let's go and kiss them. Yeah. And we've just had a delivery from Elemis. Spoiler alert, I do actually know what's inside here because I've seen it on a few people's Instagram stories, but I know that we are gonna love what's inside. So should we have a little rummage, darling? Yes. Dexie's already getting involved. Are you helping your mummy, Deck Deck? Are you helping your mummy? I don't know how to change it. So you can, I think you can call me still, but it didn't come through. Is everything right? As you might have seen, I had a lot of help when unboxing this delivery, you cheeky little monkeys. 
But oh my goodness, absolutely spoilt by the Elemis team. What a lovely selection of goodies. So they have sent over the Elemis Spectacular from the Lockdown Liquor Co. This is a Peppino cocktail. As well as that, there's this uh, gold glitter dust, which apparently will make the cocktail sparkly. Very excited to give that a try. And these gorgeous glasses, which are like iridescent. They are so beautiful. We have very kindly been sent a couple of different cocktail glasses over the last couple of weeks, so I think it's really nice that they'll all mismatch and it'll be lovely to have a cupboard full of beautiful different glasses and they're all so spectacular in their own way. And then they also sent over this lovely, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're these candle decorations and the heat from the candle actually will make this spin, so they're so, so effective. We've got a couple of these. Oh. Oh my goodness, it's <laughs> annoyingly a tiny bit small for the Elemis candle, so I'm gonna have to find a slightly smaller candle to pop it on. This candle, oh my goodness, it's called their Joyful Glow Fragrance, and it has the most gorgeous festive <laughs> fragrance. Oh my goodness, you're always trying to steal the show. Always trying to steal the show. Um, and then, I'm actually really excited about these. This is a silicone ice cube tray where the ice cubes will come out like diamonds. Silicone ice cube trays are so good because they're really easy to push them out. Nespresso used to make them not as pretty as this, um, but they don't anymore, which is really tragic. So I'm very, very grateful for this. And then a couple of the fabulous Elemis Elemis gift sets. They've got rid of all the plastic this year, so they are fully recyclable, which is fantastic. This one contains the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Ooh, and what's in here? Is this gonna be the night cream? I can't get it open. Yeah, I think that's the night cream. And then the Pro Collagen Rose Duet. Honestly, I think these are just the best, the best gift ideas. The top performing rose skincare delights for a flawless looking complexion. So this has got the cleansing balm and the rose facial oil in there. That is so, so lovely. Absolutely spoiled by the Elemis team. Thank you so, so much. Oh, and I forgot to mention also these diamond chocolates, which I had to put out of the way because Dexter had taken a big interest in them. Oh, I cannot resist. I'm gonna have to have one now. Oh my goodness, that is so good. It never looks quite as amazing on camera, but we have an incredible sunset this evening. It is making the church tower glow. Oh, so beautiful. It is absolutely freezing as well, but we're just going to go and have a quick look at the progress in the gym. Aha, we also have our new tables being set up by the Neptune chaps. Dickens. cold outside I feel numb my legs are numb I just love wearing my bubble hat everywhere I think I'm gonna <laughs> leave it on for the rest of the day because I have got oil in my hair from I have got oil in my hair from the massage earlier I now have eye makeup on because I just did a zoom with the Urban Decay and Red Ken team we were using uh, this palette which you will have seen me unbox the other day the Stoned Vibes palette from Urban Decay so I have a lovely pink shimmery eye now so i couldn't really talk through in there because charlie was chatting to the builders but as you might have just seen we, shh, we now have the reclaimed wood over the insulation in the ceiling on the gym it's gonna look amazing we're going for a really cool kind of industrial vibe in there um, i think we're gonna do one of the end walls in industrial kind of reclaimed wood as well so that it's a more flat surface for the mirrors and yeah it's gonna look awesome it's gonna be a little while until it's done because there's actually a 16 week lead time on the doors um, but we're getting the other side of the reclaimed wood side the red brick wall we're getting that sandblasted so that we get to see the beauty of the bricks they're all quite dirty at the moment um, and then we're getting the flooring put in and the last step will be the doors but it's gonna look really really cool in there okay so the neptune chaps put together the coffee table oh wow yes yeah, so we're gonna stain it dark that was always the plan yeah. Um, so this weekend, I'm, that's one of my jobs. I'm going to use. I don't now. I'm going to trial it. So I'm going to put a little bit on the corner on Saturday. Yeah. And on Sunday, when I'm planning on doing it, see if it's gone in. 
Because I actually don't think that we need to sand this down. I think I can apply it straight away. Mm. And it will darken it. I hope so, because it does look very fresh. Oh, it's not right for this room in that colour. No. We knew, I always knew the plans to stain it. it. It's a fat table, do you know what I think? Yeah, it is a nice table. What are your issues? You're not... It's just very m modern for this room. I don't think it's modern when it's been stained. Hopefully. Because I think also, when you sit here, look, you want to see the fire. That was the other issue with the coffee table in here. Yeah. You want to be able to see the fire, look. Mm. And it's low down. I think where it is, the sofa will be a little bit, probably about here, two armchairs in the corner, and it'll be brilliant. Oh, you just wait and hold, hold judgment until it's been stained. Mm. It will honestly, the only thing is, we can't return it once it's stained, and what if it's still not right? It's going to be right. I, mean, I don't think we can probably, it's probably not straightforward to return it. Do you re I really like it. I don't want to return it. I know it will stain. It will stain. They said it would. Wow, so we have got a lot of clearing up to do. As you can see, there is dust everywhere from the, <laughs> from the plastering that has been done in the dressing room. But the actual plastering is now done, which is great. So we're going to have a vacuum and a mop. Gosh, you can, can just see it's not the yellow brick road, it's the white dust road into my dressing room. Excuse the mess, as always. I actually have something very exciting in my hand here. And it is this beautiful dried flower wreath. Now, for me, this isn't just a Christmas wreath. This is one that I'll probably keep on this door all year round. This is actually from a local company called Hillside Flowers. Sorry, Hillside Farm Flowers. And it is so, so beautiful. So many gorgeous dried flowers, grasses. It has been done so, so beautifully. So I ordered this gold wreath hanger off. Amazon, so hopefully it'll look perfect on that door. And it's up, it looks absolutely gorgeous. That is such a beautiful little welcome into this room. I think the colours of the wreath look so wonderful against the door. So thank you very much to Sophie. I read the little note that she popped with it and she said um, they specialise in dried flowers when it comes to wreaths and also flower crowns. All um, or many of them picked from their farm here in the Cotswolds or otherwise just locally sourced. So as sustainable as possible. There was even sheep's wool from the farm in the packaging. And she's written that she likes to try and support other small businesses as much as possible. So a really lovely one to purchase from this Christmas. I'm very, very grateful, Sophie. Thank you very much. It looks so lovely. Let's see what it's like from further away. Oh yes, that is gorgeous. That's very much a sign that you're en about to enter a fabulous room. <laughs> Okay, next stop on the house tour. Charlie has summoned me. Wow, that looks amazing. Yeah? That looks incredible. Thank goodness. So as you will have seen earlier, we weren't too sure about this in the family room. Oh, it looks so good in here. So it's this perfect, is... And it works well with the bed and then the green cushion look. Yeah. And the green. Um, the only weird thing about this uh, home lamp, I've, I've just basically taken these off the wall lights we took off downstairs. Basically, I've put them on the ear because otherwise a white screw thread's just visible. Oh. So I've just slotted them on. I mean, it just means that it's less ugly. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah, well, that it looks does fantastic. Work well. I mean, this obviously is relatively temporary. We will use, reuse it out there, but it does work in here and it is going to be good for people. This is what we need slightly lower down mm -hmm. and wider, like chest of drawers for people staying in here. Now, yeah. what I have done is, this is the new bedside table. I think it works better in this room, with this oh, head, with okay. the dark wood. Okay. I'm not mad on that lamp. So, we have two options. Mm-hmm. Option one is actually this one, which weirdly, with the tassels and everything, oh. I think, we haven't got a bulb in it at the moment, but I okay. think it's also lower down, sort of more of a, more of a warm light. Yeah, that actually looks quite nice. So I think that will look good in here. The other option was to try the one because this bedside table is now lower. Because mm -hmm. before we didn't want a lamp. This is one of the only clip windows, so you don't want a lamp that's going to block any of the window. Yeah. Um, and the lamp that you bought from Vista was with the previous table. Bedside table was up here. Was too high. Mm. It could actually also work in here, so we could try it. But this is what I'm thinking. This light, I'm just not a fan of it at all. Actually, it's far too modern. 
and the light it gives off is really quite harsh. Mm. So anyway, that's the next change, well, but then I think this room will be fully complete really. This really is a result. We're going to get a million questions about this. Do you remember the name of the company? Oh, I've got her saved. I mean, they're not cheap. No, the was, irony is the lamp investment. shade costs probably the same as two of the actual lamp. What's next on our tour? So, this is the lamp that we got for free and with this lampshade on. Oh yeah. Come look at it from this angle, it looks good. So what I'm gonna, this is the free lamp out of the wood. I've cleaned it up. The lampshade is from the other room. I yeah. think it works really well, do you? It really suits the space. Uh, I think what we'll do is we will, I've ordered a new plug, but I'll just colour in with a Sharpie gold. Really? <laughs> That's what I did with the ones downstairs. They look really good. Well look, just oh. quickly, you, all this has been Sharpie, look. So all these little clips were white. Okay, let's see how the powder room progress is coming along. So it has been fully plastered. Oh my goodness. Wow. I think it's gonna take a little while to dry. We're not able to do anything else in here for quite some time. But next stage in here, it actually feels smaller. I think it's because we don't have the massive mirror on here. But yeah, the next stage will be wallpapering and then bringing in the sinks, bringing in the toilet and the beautiful unit, the French antique washstand. It is gonna look so gorgeous in here. Is it time for your evening treats, Dicky? Oh yes, you wipe your bum on the carpet, that's delightful. Hello again, my darlings. It's a few hours later. I have not vlogged with my brace in for quite a long time. I feel very self-conscious. I only wear my brace... brace. <laughs> Why do they make the word brace? so hard to say when you have a brace in. <laughs> because I only wear it at night, I don't really talk much when I've got it in, so I do have a little bit of a lisp. That's another word. Why does the word lisp, why is the word lisp so hard to say for people that have a lisp? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I digress. I'm about to put on my LED face mask, have a little bit of a pamper, and then I'm going to have a lovely bath. It is currently too hot in that bathtub right now. So by the time I've done my 10 minute mask, it will be absolutely perfect. I feel like I've just been dashing around quite a lot today. Um, but darlings, I'm actually gonna end the vlog here, have a nice pamper evening, catch up on a few more episodes <laughs> of down to Nabby, but I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Bye.